and now is a turn for our flagship. This is an Ultra and a new diagnostics interface, but not only diagnostics, because as I told you before, it can make some even electric measurements. So we will discuss a little bit about it. Right now, I will switch on the tool because uh, it has the, its own battery built in. So in this case, we will be able to start the software inside. As you can see, there is a small beep uh, signal. And right now, we just have to wait a few seconds to uh, start internal software of the tool. When the tool will be ready, we will see green lights. So first one, uh, the tool is in the operating mode and then another one that the battery is fully charged. So at the moment we can start. This beep was done because uh, our interface has been already connected with our tablet, so it is ready to work. Let's connect it to the car. Let's have a look how the diagnostics look like in here. Take a look. We have just connected the interface to the car only and the software has discovered that we are connected to. Even we got the VIN number and from here we can enter the diagnostics just immediately pressing this icon. Right now uh, we will perform the standalone diagnostics as it was before. So I will select it right here and I will confirm with a OK. We have already read the VIN number, so confirming our selection, I will click OK and the car will be selected in an automatic way. Here we have a, something like a summary of the car and right now uh, we can access the diagnostic clicking just OK. We have selected the car and we are almost ready to make a diagnostics. What is the main difference? Take a look. In the left part of the screen, we have selections. What can we do? For example, auto scan, control unit, alignment pre-check, uh, ADAS calibrate, hot functions, programming and retrofit. So if we will cut these two options, so alignment pre-check and ADAS calibration, we will get exactly the same menu as we had in a 909. Right now we can perform a full scan. So I will press the icon only and we will be able to see what is uh, the process. It will look like exactly the same like we have seen before. So there will be not a bigger change. As you can see, the scan, full scan has been finished. We have exactly the same information like we had before. We can select each module to get the information about what is it, a list of components so we can just scroll it down so let's have a look even for a engine module what is the difference right now we have all the options in the left part of the screen from here we can select the option what we are interested in travel codes live data for example engine output rail pressure and here are the data, active tests, okay, so there are some active tests regarding, for example, the rate pressure and control unit adaptations. So configuration, programming, teaching prog process, and so on, so on. Let's go back and let's have a look what Tigers likes that most. So I will exit the system at the moment. So let's summarize uh, the diagnostic right now. It looks almost exactly the same like we had seen already in a 909. Yeah, so there are some differences on the menu, but not too much, right? Every, every mechanic can understand what is going on right here. But there are some additional functions that are not present in the 909. So let's have a look. I will just exit the diagnostics and I will show you immediately so we are in the principal menu what are icons there is a battery test so it is exactly the same option like like i told you before but there is something another thing measurement because we are using another philosophy another uh, instrument so let's take a look i'm going in 
and right now we can see we can focus on the four different options first of all we have a, we have an oscilloscope another thing is a multimeter so another thing is a, a waveform generator and the obd inspection so we will start with an oscilloscope and i will launch it in this signal right now it's uh, close to the ground so we can see only the noise of them but uh, here are the most useful functions like uh, so, such as uh, time base and even we can change the base of the signal so from the measurement from the DC up to the AC and even the division so the voltage for further division this tool will be very appreciated for timing change for example or uh, signal drive for a compressor, for a EGR, and so many, so many things. Using this button, we can select some additional information, some additional data, or what can be retrieved directly from the measurement. Well, I will show you the multimeter as well. Here we can change the range of our signal, right? And we can make the measurement as well. The trigger will be done automatically, so we don't have to specify current value. It is really, really easy to use. Another option is a waveform generator. We can select it right now. Generally speaking, the signal generator can be used to produce the drive signal to some component. What is the most important thing, we have all features downstairs. So we can select DC or AC, the voltage of the signals, even there is a frequency of the signal and the duty cycle. So it is something like an efficiency of the signal to drive the component. Let's suppose that we want to power and try to make a diagnostics for an EGR. We can select square wave. We can select right here the frequency of the signal where we will get this information from. In this way, I suggest to use the oscilloscope first just to get the information what is the tension and what is the frequency of the signal and in this case we will be able to set it up as well right here right now i can switch on the generator and as you can see here the signal is already sent to the component Last function what I would like to show you is a OBD bus inspection. Let's suppose that we have just connected our interface and we cannot get the communication with any ECU. So what is the problem? We have no idea, maybe there is a problem with the OBD socket. So let's have a look. We can select the function and right now we can perform the test. We have selected high speed CAN and if these lamps are blinking, it means that there is a communication of both of lines, CAN H and CAN L. So it means that there is a communication and in this, in this case, that is not the problem of the CAN or the problem of the uh, diagnostic socket. Here, we can see the communication on the CAN, what is going on right now. We can switch to CAN L and there is the same situation. So the communication is going on and for sure the problem is not based on the OBD. Last thing what I would like to show you, it is a service option. So I will click it and here are the most common functions what can be used in the maintenance. we don't have to know precisely where the specific function present is but it is enough to select the function and after the car and uh, we will be guided through all this function to finish for example the uh, inspection oil change and so on